Hey artists, it's Watercolor Wednesday. Hope you're ready to create. Today we're gonna to be creating a sweet wonderland with analogous colors and a focal point. Here are the materials you're gonna need for today's project. Two cups of clean water, your watercolor paper, any size will work, a sharpie, pencil, and a pen, and an eraser, paintbrushes in all different sizes, your watercolors, and your watercolor pencils. This is completely optional and not necessary to complete this project. Last but not least, your paper towel to keep your area clean. Let's visit the color wheel since this project is all about analogous colors. Analogous colors are three colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. For example, red violet, red, and red orange will be a set of analogous colors. You could turn it to the right to get different sets of warm and cool analogous colors. I chose blue, blue violet, and blue green for today's example. But there are so many other combinations that you guys can choose from. Yellow, green, green, blue, green, yellow, yellow, green, green, and so on. Pick which set of analogous colors you're going to work with before you get started. Now I decided to sketch with my watercolor pencil very, very lightly to get rid of pencil marks. But if you don't have watercolor pencils, it's completely fine to do the sketching part with a pencil. Just make sure it is very light so it doesn't show through the watercolor. I filled my page up with all sorts of sweets and delicious things that I love to eat, like jelly beans, lollipops, cotton candy, and donuts. Now the second half of this project is going to be all about a focal point. For my picture, I chose the donut in the corner to be a focal point. This just means an area of your picture that draws the most attention. Now I'm gonna start filling in the area with different values of blue, blue-green, and blue-violet. Since I wanted the donut in the corner to be my focal point, I'm going to use a different color than the three analogous colors that I have chosen for the rest of my painting. Remember, with watercolor, you have the most control when you work in layers. So if you want a certain area darker, let that area dry and come back with a second layer rather than trying to make it really dark the first time. Now for the focal point of this entire piece, the donut. I started off with a light, warm color layer so that that area will pop and be different than everything else on the page. A watercolor tip that I recommend is to work all around the page. That means constantly moving and not staying in one area. This allows your first layers to dry in one section so you can constantly be painting and not wait for an area to dry before applying the second layer. Once you're done painting, make sure it is completely dry before you go into the inking stage. I just outlined with my Sharpie so the lines look cleaner and you could see each object a little bit more clear. And there you have it. 
your awesome analogous painting with a contrasting focal point. Great job, artist. Don't forget to post. See you next time.